Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have for unboxing and review a stunning watch that was a great surprise to me. Let's see what it comes with. Oh wow, a nice leather strap for free with a Panerai style buckle. That's what I call a good start. Here we have a cleaning cloth, a tool to swap the straps, the warranty card and the watch that was bomb proof packed. So I once saw this watch in the internet and I thought, oh nice watch. Immediately went to my wish list and after some time I decided to pull the trigger, as the Rolex fanboys say. Well, so yeah, I opened the case and I was like, what is that? I didn't expect that this watch was going to have this look hands on and these finishes. I am for real. Did you see that subdials? They are carved and the layout has brushed metallic effect. That is lovely. The brown sunburst dial looks awesome as the aluminum tachymetric bezel insert. Just look how the light plays with it. Why I picked this color instead of the blue or the khaki one? It was a difficult choice as the blue one may be the nicest one, but as I already have blue watches and I had known of this brown tone, I had to pick this one and I am not disappointed at all. About the specs, this is a 42mm watch, 45 lactalac and 14 thick. The lux width is 18 millimeters, but the bracelet is 20 millimeters. It is well made for the price, and the clasp has three micro adjustments. Obviously, this piece is not suitable for swimming, but this is a racing watch, so I don't care. Anyway, the lamb is great for this type of watch. I will show you later. Okay, now wait for it. What we have here is not what you think. This is not a regular ST1901 handwind movement. Well, let me explain. This one has better finishes than the standard one you can find in similar or even higher price point watches. It also has a swan neck regulator. I have my Seagull 1963 here to make a comparison. Be a little patient and I will focus both so you can hopefully check by yourself the difference. I have to say that this 1963 was not purchased at this store. This movement has a little of dirt at some parts and it's not as good polished as the bullhead chrono from this store. I mean, if I ever have known how quality made this watch was for the price, I would have jumped all over before. Remember that to use the chronograph you need to press the first pusher to start, then it's measuring and to stop it press again the same pusher. Then press the second one to reset. This onion crown is super good then and sparkling. It's a joy to wind this mechanism, but remember to do not overwind it. 15 to 20 turns will be enough for a full 45 hours of power reserve. You can see how it looks on my 6.25 inches or 16.5 centimeters wrist. It's bulky and maybe a little big for me, but this is how this watch is supposed to be worn. The lamb is more than okay for a racing watch, as you can see. Take a look to the official store Seagull1963watch.com. You can buy the watch here or at the AliExpress store. I will leave you the links at my video's description. Here you have all the options. I am eyeing this piece and I think will be my next one. They shipped my watch at the speed of light. 
This piece is a homage from the vintage 1970s Seiko 1638 model. They are very nice, but if you want a great preserved unit, prepare close to $1,000. This is a vintage Seiko that is no longer in production. So I think this is watch homaging done right. Okay guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about this watch. Cheers!